watching the game so far? Swimming. I'm all about swimming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Holy King Michael Phelps last night. <laughs> did he go, was he last night? He was last night. He did the uh, the butterfly I think last mm-hmm. night, right? Yeah. But it was heats, right? It wasn't like the Yeah, it was like the semi finals mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. I completely missed the uh, his first gold medal, that uh, the medley. That was great. The was it the medley? The uh, or the relay. Right? Yeah, yeah, relay. Um, yeah. yeah. I complete I didn't I, I didn't even see it and then yesterday I just yeah. saw on like all the social media stuff, just the pictures and I was like, Well, I missed that. <laughs> Jay-Z, are you, who are you rooting for in these Olympics? Ah, I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know if I'm rooting for anyone. I, yeah. I just enjoy like watching everything. Mm-hmm. It, it, I love the, I was going to say randomness of, of the sports. It's not necessarily random, but last night I watched mm-hmm. like synchronized diving. <laughs> and it's the last thing I would think about watching in like the real life. Mm-hmm. But I thought it was really, really cool. Really technically super impressive. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, it's better watching those random sports than like basketball because like U.S. is just like dominating everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, give me, give me like the random like sports you never see. Yeah. Well, at least it was exciting yesterday. I remember we had it on the office that they, like the first quarter, it, like the Venezuela they were playing yeah. was like yeah. winning, and for, and then of course they just blew them out of the water. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, those those niche sports, I, I like those. We're we're um. We're talking about those in another like video series uh, yeah. that I'm doing with Connor as well. So, um, like, did you guys know that there was? Well, everyone knew like tug of war was an Olympic sport at one point. No, right? it isn't. It was. It, it was. was. I don't think oh, okay. okay. Uh, I think it was like 19. That'd be kind of sick, though. <laughs> what do you think makes a good tug of war team? You just need all brute force. That well, that well, the, the, great, the cool thing about it is it's like boxing. There's weight classes. So like you can't oh, yeah. you can't have just one yeah, huge just guy like, yeah. like against like the rest of them. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, no, have you guys watched yeah. the you know rugby's back this year? Mm-hmm. The, was it yeah, gone? Was it the first time in like a little? Bit? I I believe it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, and uh, I watched. Um, so it's rugby. It's, it's seven seven player yeah. rugby, which is typically it's fifteen, well, fifteen or thirteen. Okay. So, so seven is interesting because. It is super duper quick. Yeah. Rugby is typically pretty quick, but that had, with only seven players, it's like unbelievable. And I was watching women play rug- rugby, uh, I don't know, a couple of days ago, mm-hmm. and it I found it really really entertaining to watch. I'm I'm generally a big rugby fan, but yeah, uh, I thought that this specific like women's game I haven't watched mm-hmm. any other uh, was was quick and fun and I. Really, really entertaining. Outside of the Olympics, is there seven-person rugby, or is this like a special? It's the first the first time I heard of it. Wow. So, so my understanding is a couple of these bigger sports they start modifying the rules. So basketball, I think it's like ten-minute quarters, or right? Something like something. I, I think to fit the Olympic rules. But mm-hmm. to the point on um, um, rugby sevens, yeah, it's it's just exciting. Mostly when you get to see like you know the the New Zealand team, which. On, on a daily basis we'll probably never get to see but in the Olympics it's kind of like brought to us like sh- shown to our faces mm-hmm. um, and just even like the I, I always get it wrong but the synchronized uh, choreography they have before the game both the men and the female have their own the haka oh and the wait haka. Haka. Yeah, okay. yeah sorry the haka yeah, yeah. and the, I saw a clip of the women's version yesterday it's like it's, it's not as intimidating as the men but yeah. you can tell that it was as, as emotional as like um, uh, inspirational as as the men, so it's it's very special to kind of get those opportunities to see these these players kind of do what they do best, what they've been training for years for. Um, so I respect that a lot. Yeah. Did any of you ever want to go to the Olympics for a specific sport? <laughs> Jack, you haven't said anything in a while. You you got anything? Not not to pull it. I'd love to go like watch or something. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. it, like I was pumped when it was gonna come to Boston. I know like people like hated that idea because it would absolutely be a mess. But like mm-hmm. it'd just be like so cool to like have that kind of thing like in your hometown. I think mm-hmm. I'd love to like watch it someday. I think to to answer your question about what sport it has to be like the hundred meter. Um, track and field sprint mm-hmm. that's like when the world like stops yes. for the 10 seconds just to really watch these like whatever eight men run their fastest yeah. mm-hmm. and the spotlight it's just i mean that's why i believe like they always put the track and field events towards the end it's because everybody's waiting for that and mm-hmm. also those sports don't really require a lot of um uh, facilities or equipment so like anybody can 
you know, do track and field or running or like on a sprint. So, right. um, I think that's why people love it the most is because, you know, if you wanted to, you could start training for it. <laughs> yeah. You can just go outside and try that now.